split sleeve tutorial that's coming up. Hello fashion sewer and welcome to FSB TV, I'm Colleen G. Lee. If you're looking for clear and concise fashion sewing tutorials, consider subscribing and let's get started. This is the sleeve that I'm refashioning and um, this is the split to the sleeve and it's starting from the shoulder and it comes all the way down to the cuff. All the supplies we're going to be needing for this project is scissors and a seam ripper. The first step is to create a crease line in your sleeve. So centre your sleeve so that it's in the middle, so it's in half and from the shoulder all the way down to the cuff and you need to press and create a crease line which I've done there. And the next step is to add fusible, a strip of fusible interfacing along that crease line all the way to the shoulder of the shirt and just press very lightly. You can see mine isn't that secure. The reason for that is that we don't want to press out the crease line on the right side. So get your seam ripper or one picker and what you're going to do at the start of that crease line, you're just going to create a little cut into it, just a small one because you want to get your scissors in there, maybe a bit, yeah. So get the point of your scissor into that little opening you've just created and then you're going to get your scissor right in the middle and then keep cutting because you want to make sure you've got sharp lines, you don't want any jagged lines. So I'm using the middle of my scissors in order to make sure that my lines are not jagged. Now at the top of the sleeve and I'm going to make sure that I leave from the seam of the sleeve I'm going to be leaving about 1.5 eighths of an inch um, because I don't want to catch the uh, the overlocking, the surging on the inside of the shirt and also it gives a neater finish. So starting at the cuff, you're just going to fold once and put your needle into position like so. Take a couple of stitches up and then reverse stop and then continue sewing so you're just going to fold it once and you're just going to sew all the way up to the shoulder right I'm going to stop roughly about there now I'm coming to the shoulder point here and the slit opening here is starting to narrow when it comes to this point here so this is going to be the tricky part because you still want it to be nice and neat on the right side. So I'm going to slowly slow down the speed of my machine and then make sure that I can see where I'm going to stitch and go, go as slow as you need to go. I would actually at this point also reduce the stitch length on my machine, yeah, and then so to that point there and stop, and then you're going to pivot, raise your, raise your own foot, and then get your finger under there, keep your feet away from the pedal, do not stitch into your hand, please. And uh, once you've got that down. Put your foot down and just go slowly. That's all you need to do, just take your time. 
So that's a tricky part. Okay, stop. And then you can go back to sewing the rest of the opening to the cuff. The split sleeve is now done. All we need to do is give it a press. So there we have it, a split sleeve refashion project. Now, um, the reason why I put the strip of interfacing into the area of the centre of the sleeve is that, for two reasons really. One is to stabilise the uh, fraying of the fabric. So do bear that in mind when you do yours. And it also gives that a much more sleeker line to the split of the sleeve. Stick around for more fashion sewing tutorials. Do subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications of when I upload a video. Do leave a comment. Give this a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And I will see you next time.